The treatment of renal cell carcinoma has changed considerably in the past several years. When we think back to the initiation of therapy, we had TKI therapy as the mainstay with snitinib, pazopinib, and after that there were several other TKIs you could use afterwards. Um, but really the sequencing was unclear and pro inhibition TKI. Then we had the pivotal Meteor trial in Checkmate 2.5 done at the same time, showing that both cabozantinib and nivolumab offered us improvement in overall survival in the second line setting. And so that led to a pattern of care where patients would start with a TKI, go on to receive cabozantinib, and then nivolumab, or vice versa. They would go on to TKI, nivolumab, and then cabozantinib. And now, as we look at things evolving, the role of immunotherapy is really moved to the front line with nivolumab and ipilimumab approved in the United States, front line for those with intermediate poor risk disease. And we've just heard data on the combination of exitinib and evolumab showing market improvement in response rates, PFS, with a press release for pembrolizumab showing improvement in overall survival in the frontline setting compared to sunitinib. So clearly, immunotherapy is moving into the front line. And so one of the dilemmas we face is, with cabozantinib being studied in VEGF refractory, does prior immunotherapy really, does it affect the activity of cabozantinib? And so that's unlikely to be studied prospectively. We did a retrospective review between ourselves and Emory of 86 patients who had received immunotherapy as the most recent line of therapy and then went on to receive cabozantinib. And what we showed overall is that the activity of cabozantinib was preserved. So by investigator assessed response, 30%, 36% of patients achieved a partial response um, with 79% deriving clinical benefit, either stable disease or partial response with a median time to treatment failure of over six months. So I think there's a lot of subgroup analysis that we've discussed in detail on our poster. I think the main takeaway is that in the setting of prior immunotherapy, cabozantinib continues to have an important role and will continue to have a role in the second line therapy for our patients with metastatic renal cell carcinoma and just gives us another definitive option for our patients in that situation.